We use a lot of measurement tools in the wind tunnel, as all teams do. Uh, a few that we can describe to understand. Uh, the main load cell. Um, now, what, what, what is it? It's a fancy weighing scale is what it is. Now, typically with a load cell, you talk about the percentage repeatability of the measurement. And that uh, a manufacturer of a load cell will give you a specification that this load cell is accurate to 0.02% of the full scale load. And to expect more than that is being optimistic, but the manufacturers of load cells continue to work to make them better and better and better. So in the, in the model, we have a lot of these load cells. The, the, the main one we use is a six component load cell we use for measuring the overall forces on the car. So, so we want to measure, for example, the, the downforce on the car, the side force exerted on the car, and the drag force on the car. But we also want to know where is the downforce? How much is on the front? How much is on the rear? So you use a pitch moment. So you can separate that out by having a load cell at the front and a load cell at the rear of your block of, uh, of your, your six component balance so that you can calculate then what's the downforce on the front and what's the downforce on the rear. Then the same applies for the side force and the same applies for the, for the drag force and your moment. So that's why six components. We have a number of five component load cells, for example, one for the front wing, one for the rear wing. We could make those six component as well, but for us it's enough to measure five. We have load cells in the axles of the wheels, and we also measure the forces underneath, uh, underneath uh, the wheel contact patches. Now that's extraordinarily difficult to do because between the tyre and the load measurement, we have a thick, fast-moving belt system. But despite that, experimentation and calibration has taught us that we can measure the load that the tyre uses to push down onto the belt. We can measure that by having a specific, specifically carefully designed uh, high pressure bearing, high pressure air bearing load cell underneath the, air, the spot where the tyre exists. And th through a lot, of, uh, a lot of work, we've been able to calibrate that so that we can accurately measure. So if you put a car into the, into the wind tunnel, a full size car, or a model, we can measure the load, the weight of the car, let's say, but also the aerodynamic load of the car with quite good accuracy, despite the fact that you've got the belt moving in between. And that's probably one of the more difficult technologies. And then within the model, we have lots of other measurements position sensors. The, the model is a, a relatively sophisticated, very specialised robot, if you like. Lots of motors to move things around, for example, the steer, and then systems to measure how far has the steer moved, S systems to measure pressure. We have hundreds and hundreds, and I won't say how many, but we have hundreds and hundreds of pressure sensors measuring the surface pressure on various parts of the model. And this uh, allows us to understand more of the airflow around the model. There are also systems such as uh, uh, laser measurement systems for air movement. They, they don't actually detect air movement. It's basically laser light, either in a sheet or a few lasers pointing at a single point. Uh, you need something visible to use the laser to tell you what's happening with the airflow, but a uh, smoke particle is more than enough to be visible. And uh, as, as the visible particle moves through a tiny space that's, that's lit up by uh, a special laser light, uh, we can use that to detect the velocity of the air. So the, the speed and direction and also the turbulence level of the air. So these are technologies that we don't talk about very much, but these are technologies that exist and we have available for our wind tunnel and we use for our wind tunnel. And um, I've probably said far too much already. If I say any more, other teams will start looking at this video, which I don't.